Legends, welcome back to another episode of where I test every single vehicle that I can find in Revolt. Alrighty, the vehicle I'm testing today is Mouse. Now, it's a not a glow vehicle anymore, because the previous one we tested was Aquasonic, which was a glow vehicle. So the class is electric, and it has an amateur rating. The speed is pretty good, I'd say. It's not bad. The acceleration seems a mousing. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <coughs> uh, the weight seems quite a lot. I think it might be more than Fat Slug this time. And it's four wheel drive. So let's just quickly check the weight. Okay, so that's Fat Slug. Oh, so Fat Slug is still the heaviest. Okay, but the acceleration of mouse is not more than Sprinter XL, it seems. Yeah, okay, so, but it's still a lot. So let's see how it stacks up against the rest of the vehicles in Museum 1. So this is Junior RC mode. This thing has massive wheels. It's quite funny. Was Dead Mouse a thing when this ga game came out? I'm not sure. But yeah, it seems like it has a mouse skeleton on the side of it, so that's definitely a dead mouse. Ha <laughs> ha. Shocking. <laughs> oh. we'll use that speed boost soon. now. So the handling of this vehicle is actually pretty good. It does have a little weird sporadicness to it uh, if you let go of the accelerator and then turn. So it means it can turn quite sharply, you see like that. Um, but it can be a problem in at higher speeds, I can imagine, uh, because it's quite heavy. Um, but it's got great grip, it really goes well around the corners, it's got good acceleration, I don't think the speed is as amazing, um, but it is, it's pretty good, feels quite, quite balanced. But we'll see what happens in simulation mode soon. Ah, I forgot to use the speed boost. <laughs> well, I'll use it now, just now. See, it turns really well. Even for its size. I think that's just due to the mass of wheels. And the copious amounts of weight. So that was pretty cool. That worked, but there, if you get that whip wrong, then you lose time. Sometimes I just get it, it like starts to steer just a little bit delayed. So if you just time it wrong in, in front of a jump, or you steer after a jump. Um, did you hear that <laughs> funny audio glitch? Anyway. Um, yeah, so if you get it wrong, then it doesn't obviously turn when you're turning too late. Oh yeah, I should probably use this. <laughs> See, at higher speeds it does that weird thing where it loses its control. There's one for dust mite. There's a pump for candy pebbles. This 
Sprinter XL, struggling. Nice. There we are, and then we celebrate. There we go. Alrighty, 358.555. 358.555. Cool. Um, yeah, it's not as quick as Aquasonic. <laughs> it's a, it's ten seconds slower. Alrighty. Let's see how it does in simulation mode. I think this is gonna be crazy. Whoa, okay. It's quick. It's like, it accelerates extremely quick. Oh, but its wheels get stuck on stuff. Which is not great. Oopsie. You see. <laughs> no. See, so, that's definitely a drawback. I don't want to use a this rocket now. What? What happened there? Oh, that was an oil slick. Was it an oil slick? I don't even know. Oh, oil slick. Two of them. Two oil slicks, I don't know. You can see. Mm. Ooh, don't wanna be a bomb. Get out of my way. Oh, that was a bomber. That was a bomber. Hey, we're ahead. We're in the lead. Oh, okay, we're not in the lead. Let's see. Don't celebrate just yet. Oh, come on, Vulcan. Been doing that to me since the beginning. So you see, that's its biggest drawback. It just spins out of control and then it gets stuck. You slow down quite early and kind of redeem it, you know? Kind of. Okay, Aquasonic is in the lead. It got stuck. So let's see if we can catch up. There it is. Slow down just a little. There we go. Oh, come on. Hey, <laughs> Got it. Don't know if we can keep it, but let's try. Oh. Ah. Okay, have fun. <laughs> So when I go quiet like that, you must know I'm concentrating. <laughs> Yo, do you see that? Like it's just wheel spins. No man, we're losing time. Final lap. Oh, yo, why is he doing that? So it's certainly a challenge, but if we can master this thing, it, it's certainly super quick. 44 miles an hour there. Well, I'm up the, the ramp. It's crazy. Almost wants to do a cartwheel. Come on, mate. What are you doing? It's almost as big as a ball bearing. <laughs> it's a gigantic ball bearing. I wonder for what vehicle that is. That is four. Sorry. No. <laughs> Why? Yo, it's a different story to control A eh? in simulation mode. Come on. Come on. 
and we celebrate. Nice, 14. Great. 14.569. Alrighty, cool. It's not the fastest vehicle. <laughs> it's uh, about 30 seconds slower. No, 40 seconds. Let me just check. 30 seconds slower than the fastest vehicle. That's pretty crazy. No? 40. 40 seconds slower than the fastest vehicle, which is still candy pebbles. Yeah. There you are. Alrighty, guys. This has been Mouse. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it's, it was a challenge to drive, I must say. It's a, it's a bit crazy. Uh, but I think if you can master it, man, this thing would be extremely fast um, up until this point of testing the cars. Um, yeah, so like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you want to support it, that would be amazing. And um, a mousing, <coughs> sorry. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. All the best. See you in the next one. Peace.